All right, this is April, also known as Grandmama. This is Grandmama, also known as April. All right, today I want to talk to you about energy vampires. I'm not sure if I talked to you about this before, but uh, in case you don't know what an energy vampire is, uh, basically uh, it's when people can pick up on your energy and especially if it's positive, they gravitate to you and always want to touch you. Extremely touchy-feely. So, uh, on the last two jobs that I've had since I've been here, uh, people feel the need to, when they come to work, hug me. Like I'm their lost, long lost grandmama that they hadn't seen for years. And it really began to just really make me mad. So after about, uh, maybe about after a week or so on the first job, I said, hey, uh, why are you trying to hug me every day you come to work? Like we're long lost friends and you hadn't seen me in years. I didn't tell them I, I was aware that they were energy vampires. I just said, well, I, I really need you to stop. I really need you to stop. And they were like, okay. Uh, now, the second person was on another job. Okay. And uh, whenever she saw me, she would run to me and hug me like I was a long lost friend. This went on um, maybe about two weeks. And then I said, uh, hey, and because I had come, come to work one day just to pick up something. And here she go running from around the corner, the corner to run and hug me. I said, hey, wait, stop. I don't want you touching me at all. Don't give me a hug. I'm off limits for hugs. Okay, so that's all that. Okay, so as you know, I'm still currently in the homeless shelter, okay? So person number three. Person number three decides that uh, she wants to touch me all the time. Rub on my arm, rub my back. She's not doing the hugging, but she finds a reason to be up close and personal. She'll rub my back like I told her I, I, my back needed. A, so I was aware that I said, okay, here we go. We got another energy vampire here. We got another energy vampire. So right away, I didn't say nothing to her, but I, I knew that I, I was going to get a toll the next encounter. But I happened to be <laughs> talking to the guy on our floor, he's one of the monitors. I said, hey, you know, so I said, do you know what an energy vampire is? He said, no. I said, do you know what an empath is? He said, no. I said, well, this conversation might go over your head, but I'm going to just try it anyway. I said, an energy vampire is uh, someone that is aware that somebody has energy good or bad, but they happen to know that I got a lot of good vibes exhuming from my body, coming from my body. So they decide to find some type of way to grab that energy, okay? I said, and it's really, it's really annoying. And I told them who was doing it. This lady that's doing it here. And, um, uh, now, now let me go back to person number one, person number two, and person number three. Okay, person number one. Now, I knew that she had some sad situations going on in her household. But what did that have to do with me? She's still not going to... It really just made me mad. I knew that she was uh, kind of depressed. And uh, person number two had some issues going on. These are the things that they had in common, okay? She wasn't really bad off. She just was going to amp up the energy she already had, okay? Person number three, yeah, she she works a lot here and don't, don't even really have to. So I knew that 
there was something going on with her here about her family, why she works, 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 works. So I guess so she won't have to think about, you know, she's away from her family, okay? Cleans the elevators, does, does all of this stuff, and then nobody tell her to do it. Okay, so back to the guy. So he said, oh, April, you're mean. I said, what? Now, I've been called a lot of things, but mean? No. So I was curious as to, I said, why are you saying I'm mean? He said, well, you're mad at this person, which everybody know that something is wrong because she's she's in deep, deep pain. So that's why she works to avoid those feelings, right? He said, uh, now I don't know much about what you're talking about, but this I do know. He said, you're mean. I said, why? He said, now April. You know that girl needs some of your positive energy and you're being stingy. You got more than enough energy to share. So I'm like, and he's kind of on point. Now, keep in mind, I know that something's wrong with this girl, but I, I still don't like the idea of tr people trying to steal my energy. I was telling them, I said, hey, I worked hard to get this energy. I worked hard. Days of isolation. <laughs> You're mean, you're mean, you're mean. <laughs> so I had to think about what he said. He said, you got an abundance of energy. Why are you being stingy? I So I really had to think about that. I said, hey, you know, he, he's really right. I got a, an abundance of energy, positive energy. That's why people are gravitating to me, want to hang around me. So it's like, man, I'm... I'm going to do something special for this. Oh, because the last straw that broke the camel's back was right in front of him. She found a way to rub my arm and I was like, started to say, ah, get your hands off of me. But I, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. But they've been seconds away from me snapping on them because they rubbing my arm, rubbing my back, hugging me for like for dear life. But I get it. I get it. They, they have a deficit. Now, everybody didn't have a real deficit. They just knew that they wanted to harvest some of my energy. Okay, so I thought about it. I said, I'll tell you what. I said, you on to something. So I'm going to take your advice. And so the next time I saw her, I said, hey, how you doing? And she said, well, I'm doing all right. That's the lady in the building. I said, would you like a hug? She said, yes, I would. So I hugged her, uh, which I don't mind hugging people, but it has to be my choice. I don't just go around hugging people, but knowing that she is really uh, just working through her pain not really facing her pain so yeah i went ahead and hugged her so, because the guy was right and it, it made her happy so but again today i was about to snap on her because she started rubbing my arm see it's a difference she needs to know that let me initiate this stuff you can't just go talking to me and then start rubbing my arm and think that I'm going to keep letting you do this. So eventually, I'm going to have to tell her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to tell her I'm off limits. You know? But I will ask her if she needs a hug. It's still going to be my choice. You ain't going to just run up to me, start talking to me, and start rubbing my back. Or start rubbing my arm. Or run up to me and say, hey, how you doing? And give me a big hug. No. No. It's going to be my choice. Okay? Anyway, that's just one of the things that I have to deal with. As I get higher and as you get higher in the Lord, um, the remnants probably know what I'm talking about. You're going to be carrying more of God's anointing with you. And that's going to attract the... Um, the good and the bad because the bad the uh demonic side is always trying to squash your light as you already know okay this is still lessons on 
how to become a god. You got to spend time by yourself. You and the Father. So you will be able to learn his voice. Open up the Bible. I know a lot of times I just throw the Bible up. Bam. Wherever it opens. That has been a great way that if he doesn't give me anything. And sometimes I don't even wait for him to tell me. I just throw the Bible up. And it opens up to whatever he's. I'm like yeah that's true. You know. So that's one way. And then other times I said, well, okay, where am I going today? What's the word today? So you're going to have to develop. And this is the way you de you can eventually discern the Lord's voice. Still, how to become a God that you already are. I'm just giving you all steps on how to activate the God that's in you. Okay? Now, don't come trying to activate the God in you to do a lot of bad stuff okay that's not the the real reason okay all right this is grandmama also known as april april also known as grandmama all right saying shalom peace unto you